what's up guys, Nash here coming at you with the brand new video and today we're talking about a super popular topic that I know a lot of people are wondering and that is how to actually find hot selling products for your Shopify store that aren't gonna burn out in like two days and that'll be along, around for at least you know a couple months that you can actually sell. So without any further ado, Let's go ahead and jump in. Okay, so the first thing that you have to realize about drop shipping is that it's not about reinventing the wheel. We're not out there trying to find the newest, greatest product. We're not trying to invent something. We're not trying to, you know, find some undiscovered niche that nobody has ever seen before. If you're just beginning, then the absolute easiest way to make a lot of money really quick is to find products that are in niches that are huge, that are evergreen, meaning that they've been around for a long time and will be around for a long time because people are spending money, right? And uh, to find products that are actually selling in those niches. So how do we actually go ahead and do that? Well, there's a few tools that I use. One of them is called Thieve.co, which uh, you, know, you can just check out. Uh, so Thieve.co is this website uh, that curates the best AliExpress products. So sometimes I like to go on here and just look at uh, you know the trending products, see if we can't find anything cool. Um, and what I'm usually looking for is uh, first you can see you know how many uh, order. Well, I don't know if those are orders, but at least like how popular they are. Um, but I'm looking for products that have a very uh, definitive niche, right? So um, a lot of watches here. Shoes, watches, glasses. I actually sold these for a while. Um, hammocks, tents. Let's see. So, looks like a lot of generic stuff right now, which is fine. Um, we some sometimes you can find good stuff. Sometimes it's you know it's kind of a hit or a miss. Uh, fingerboards used to be huge. I didn't know those are still a thing. Um, so yeah, so okay, for example, so if you can read this, bring me a glass of wine. So it looks like, let's just say wine socks, right? Um, so if we jump over to AliExpress, let's just type in wine socks, see what we get. I'm gonna sort this by orders, and boom, look at that, 55,000 orders. Now, the cool thing about this is you can totally market to, especially if you're doing Facebook ads, market to people that like wine. Um, or specific wines and also like socks or live in cold areas, you know, different things like that uh, that you can definitely target. So let's just go jump in and I'm going to show you some things that are pretty interesting. So this is actually not the total number of orders contrary to popular belief. This is the amount that were, it was either ordered in the last 30 days or that uh, are currently processing. Either way, there's a lot more than 55,000 that were ordered of this product. As you can see, it has uh, 12,000 votes, 4.9 stars. That's outstanding. You're always looking for products that have, uh, you know, a lot of a lot of momentum. So, let me go down and see. One of the metrics that I really like to look at when I'm picking a product is this right here, which is the amount of uh, the transaction history. I guess is what they call it, but the amount of orders over a time. So. Today is January 18th, so you can see um, you know, all this. I'm recording this in advance. Um, but if you go to number two, okay, so then we have the 17th starting, let's see, three, still the 17th. And you can see this here, somebody named M something from the US is ordering a lot of pairs, which is a good sign. Okay, these are making sales. Still on the 17th, let's see, still on the 17th, so on, so forth, still on the 17th. So these are making a lot of sales still currently, like right now. So this could be an awesome product to jump in on. Generally, just uh, as a rule of thumb, I'm looking for products that have usually over 2000 orders and are selling hot. So uh, when you click on the product, if you go down here, um, ideally I'd like to see at least one full page full from the uh, from the day, right? If you see something where it's like, you know, January 17th all the way to here, and then it's like the 14th, and then it's like, you know, the 12th or something like that, that's too inconsistent for me, and I don't wanna make, I don't wanna try to sell that because it's gonna be, you know, kind of difficult to, to sell because, you know, maybe the product died off or something like that. You wanna sell hot products that are working right now, okay? So, um, and actually, with Valentine's Day coming up, this could be great for, um, you know, different like girl meme pages, you know, a lot of them, um, you know, you can mix in Valentine's Day with this somehow. Um, not gonna give any marketing advice because I haven't really thought about it, but uh, you probably could find a way to do it. So um, another thing to look at is the price point. So we can see that 
essentially we're paying about two dollars for the product and let's see how much shipping is shipping's at an extra dollar 33 so all in we're at three dollars and 33 cents if you want you can totally do a free plus shipping offer on this but i'm going to show you something that could be pretty interesting so um what I usually like to do when, when looking to price a product is to actually look at competitors. So something you can do is just take the, uh, you know, the name of the product. So let's see, let's type in this. Uh, so I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go over to Google and I'm going to type in, uh, type in this. So site, whoops, site colon my Shopify dot com and then we're going to do uh, co uh, two quotes and we're going to paste what we just had and we're going to hit enter and here you go so here's a bunch of different Shopify stores that are actually selling the current thing so what you can do a lot of times you can actually see the price of it so you can, can see somebody so 1695 1495 1799 um, let's open up some of these and see how we're how we're doing um, and another thing you can look at is actually the uh, you know the description. So when you're writing descriptions, you can actually get some ideas for, for what's going on. You can also see what they're pricing at here, which obviously there's you know a pretty huge markup on this, which is good for us. There's a lot of profit uh, to be made. It looks like that one's down. Um, and my computer is super slow right now. Okay, so uh, looks like this one is 10.99. It looks like they have a horrible description and pretty bad website too. So I'm not gonna mess with this one. Um, these guys, 17.99, Alexia and Co. And it looks like they're doing a little upsell here, which is cool. Um, you know, we got a decent little description there. Okay, so they're doing uh, 17.99. See what these guys are doing, 14.95. Okay, cool. Uh, and these guys are doing 16.95. So let's just say the average is around like 14.95. So I usually like to be on the lower end of things to start off because it's easier to get some traction. Maybe even throw in a little discount code there as well, if you'd like. Um, but essentially, that's that's what you could charge for this product, and you could go out and actually sell it, whether with Facebook or I would recommend doing Instagram ads and then you know switching over to Facebook. So that's one way that you can find a product. Another way you can do it is through Facebook itself. And this is actually a way that I really uh, kind of prefer, is literally you can just go up to Facebook and type in free shipping, okay? So I'm just gonna type in free shipping there, and I'm gonna go to videos. And the reason I'm going to videos is because you can immediately see how many people watched it and how many people engaged, which is super useful for being able to, uh, you know, kind of decipher what products you want to sell. And it's also super useful for seeing what type of ad copy is actually working for them, all that kind of stuff. So let's see what we got. So as you can see, uh, you know, you can see how many views it has. So 75,000, that's pretty good. 230,000, okay. 2 million for whatever that is, not sure what that is. Um, ideally, I'm looking for stuff that has a, a definitive niche. So yeah, that has 2 million, but it would be hard, especially for a beginner, to make sales on that. Um, See, Talking Hamster has seven million. That's pretty insane. Okay, let's actually let's actually look at this. Talking ham, uh, yeah. So I'm gonna pause this. So what you could actually do, you know, assuming that you wanted to go with this product, is you could literally just uh, download this Facebook video and use it for your own and repurpose it and you know write write a new thing. As long as it's not copyrighted. If it's copyrighted, obviously you can't do that, but in most cases, they are not copyrighted. So uh, you can look at what they are saying here. You can see 28,000 likes, 13,000 shares, 7.3 million views. We go to the comments. Look at that, tons of comments of people tagging friends, all kinds of different stuff. And what you could do if you really want to get in depth is you could actually click on individual profiles and look at their likes and see if you can find common threads to kind of decipher what they are, um, what they're sort of targeting here. But let's go ahead and go to their page where they're selling this. So the talking hamster, they're selling it for $19.95 and obviously they're probably making a lot of sales, right? Um, oh, real quick, another way, I just thought of this, uh, kind of random, but another way you can do it is you can actually use this plugin, which, what is this plugin called? Commerce Inspector. So if you just research Commerce Inspector, it's a free plugin. Um, that you can actually see some really cool metrics. 
Um, so the free version, you can't necessarily see all these things, but if you go to products, you can see, um, bah, 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 once it loads, you can see when they're launching products. So you can see they launched uh, six there, one there. So they're launching products fairly frequently, not super frequently. Sometimes you'll see like, you know, like this, they'll launch tons of products and then it'll die off. Usually, you know, assuming it's a good store, that means that they probably found a winning product in here somewhere. Um, and you can actually see what they most recently launched. So all these different ones. And another cool thing that you can do is you can actually look at their best selling chart. So if you go to the best selling, this is ranking their entire website by the best selling product. So apparently this, uh, you know, whatever that shirt is, is the best seller, this onion thing, um, whatever this is, you know, all kinds of different ideas that you could use to then go on AliExpress and see if it's something that you could sell. My ultimate advice for, um, for dropshipping is to not go in with a niche in mind. Just go in finding products and let the products sort of define your niche. So um, let's get back on track to, the, uh, to our hamster here. Let's, uh, let's see if we can find it on AliExpress. So I'm just gonna go up here and type in hamster, uh, talking hamster, I think they called it. Okay. And boom, there it is. Let's sort by orders. And there you go. Whoa, who knew? Almost 10,000 orders in process right now. 5,000, 5,080. So it looks like the price they're buying it for is $5.86 free shipping and they're selling it for $19.95. So that's like 15, you know, $14 shipping depending on if you want to do free shipping, whatever. Um, that's a pretty good profit margin that you're getting off of each one of these hamster sales. So let's just go to it real quick and see, it looks like it's talking hamster, plush toy, learn to speak electric hamster, educational children's stuff toy. So I guess uh, you'd be marketing it to children as an educational toy of some sort. I'd have to do more research to actually sort of figure that out. But coming down here, you can see that, you know, it's selling like crazy. This person E whatever is selling tons of them. Uh, yeah, they're going nuts. So that, that person is actually probably our Facebook person here because this, uh, I don't know if this ad is still going. Yeah, it's still going. Look at that. Three hours ago, three hours ago, three hours ago. So this person is probably just making a killing off of this Facebook ad right now. Um, and yeah, you literally have access to exactly what he's doing, exactly what his website is and exactly, basically what his marketing scheme is. And you can just go out and copy it and make it a little bit better for yourself. So Hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. Now you should have no excuse to not be able to go out there and find a winning product. Like I showed you, like basically those are all the tools that you need to find a winning product. It's super easy. It does take some time. I would recommend finding maybe like five to 10 that you think would work and then go ahead and test them and set up, uh, set up maybe a general store so you can test them. And then, you know, from there, maybe make a niche store, whatever you want to do. But yeah, so that is my basic strategy that I go through in terms of finding products that actually sell on a consistent basis. If this was all helpful for you guys, go ahead and hit that like button and also hit that subscribe because why not? We're dropping new videos every single day and they are super helpful, hopefully for you guys. Let me know in the comments if they're not helpful, then something's wrong. I need to, <laughs> need to do something different. But uh, you know, go ahead, like, subscribe, comment what you liked, and I will see you guys tomorrow. I need you in the morning. Yeah, I need you in the midnight, oh, oh Why'd you leave without a